the ancient world in 100 words. Um, words by Clive Gifford, uh, pictures by Garcia Herba. Um, so like you're getting things from like ancient Egypt, um, Benesines, um, Minoanas, Greeks, Romans. So it is divided into like the certain um, group, but some symbols do overlap and um, they do have these symbols like at the top of, like this is just explaining like the symbols um, at the top of the page you'll have like one or like two or three of the symbols for um, like Egyptian or um, no one or whatever um, so you got Nile and then so up in the corner here yeah, it would be the symbol for Egyptian, um, a picture and a brief, brief introduction to it, or like information. Um, so papyrus. Um, so this one has three symbols, so three different um, cultures, peoples had papyrus. So. So when it goes like purple, the color purple, um, Athens, hates. So it goes through objects, places, um, deities. Um, so it just, in a way, it's like a dictionary encyclopedia, but an introduction of it. Like it's a picture dictionary, basically. Um, so, like the items aren't in al alphabetical order, it's more by the culture, and even then the stuff's not alphabetical order. Um, you do get a timeline, a map, and glossary at the end, and like further reading. Um, I don't have that. but. Yeah, so it's a good introduction to um, a number of different things in the ancient classical world, and it's not specific to Greece or Rome or Egypt. You get six different um, places, and a few things do in inter oh like I will overlap and such so it's a good introduction for um, like kids or if you have an interest in it um, you do get brief introduction to a um, hundred different things so yeah the ancient world in a hundred words happy readings